Canon's mirrorless camera lineup continues to expand, with the EOS R6 Mark II released in late 2022 and a successor to the R5 recently announced. In this video, we'll compare R6 Mark II R5 Mark II, examining their specifications, features, and price ranges. We'll also discuss how they might fit into your photography or videography workflow. Whether you're considering an upgrade or deciding which camera to invest in, this comparison will help guide your decision. The Canon EOS R5 Mark II and R6 Mark II both showcase Canon's commitment to ergonomic design, but with notable differences. The R5 Mark II retains much of its predecessor's design, featuring a magnesium alloy chassis and weather-sealed exterior. It's slightly smaller than some competitors, weighing 746 grams with battery and card, making it comfortable for extended use with professional lenses. The camera includes cooling vents on its underside to minimize overheating issues, addressing a concern from the previous model. The R6 Mark II, on the other hand, emphasizes curved contours and soft, grippy surfaces, offering a more comfortable handling experience compared to some hard-edged designs from other manufacturers. However, it may feel slightly unbalanced with larger lenses, which is something to consider if you frequently use heavier glass. Both cameras come with excellent electronic viewfinders, EVFs, and rear displays. The R5 Mark II introduces a new 5.76 million dot OLED viewfinder with iControl AF, while the R6 Mark II's EVF offers superb clarity and contrast. The R5 successor features a 3.2-inch variangle touchscreen, whereas the R6 Mark II has a slightly smaller 3-inch display, both of which are fully articulating for flexible shooting angles. Control layouts differ between the models. The R5 Mark II maintains a familiar button arrangement with some refinements, including a full-size HDMI port and tally lamp for video shooters. The R6 Mark II uses a three-dial control system that may require some learning, and some users might miss dedicated ESO and WB buttons. Both cameras provide significant improvements in key areas, particularly autofocus and image stabilization. The R5 Mark II introduces a refined intelligent dual pixel AF system with deep learning technology, also known as AI autofocus. This system can recognize and prioritize faces, even storing up to 10 faces for quick selection. It also features specialized modes for sports, recognizing key actions and prioritizing players with the ball. The R6 Mark II similarly impresses with its AI autofocus capabilities. It excels in subject recognition and tracking, particularly for humans, animals, and vehicles. The camera's ability to respect user-defined focus areas while still recognizing subjects is a great feature for those who want more control over their focus points. Both cameras offer high-speed burst shooting. The R5 Mark II can shoot up to 30 frames per second with a new pre-recording feature capturing up to 15 frames before fully pressing the shutter. This feature is particularly useful for action and sports photography. The R6 Mark II also offers smooth and responsive operation for fast-paced shooting scenarios, making it suitable for a wide range of photographic situations. In terms of image stabilization, the R5 Mark II claims up to 8.5 stops of stabilization, though real-world performance may vary depending on the lens and shooting conditions. The R6 Mark II offers up to 8 stops of in-body image stabilization IBIS, but tests suggest that optimal results are achieved at around 4 stops of compensation. For video features, these cameras show both strengths and limitations. The R5 Mark II introduces proxy recording to speed up video workflows, while the R6 Mark II's IAF and tracking perform well for vlogging and self-filming scenarios. However, both cameras may struggle with more complex camera movements when using IBIS for video, so traditional supports like tripods or gimbals may still be necessary for optimal results. The R5 Mark II maintains its predecessor's 45 megapixel resolution, but introduces a faster sensor and processor, reducing rolling shutter distortion by up to 40%. This improvement is particularly beneficial for action shots and video work. The camera also features new AI-powered in-camera edits, including upscaling to 180MP and noise reduction. 
While these features show promise, they may produce a slightly processed look upon close inspection. The video capabilities of the R5 Mark II are impressive, offering 8K 60fps raw video and 4000 up to 120fps in 10-bit. However, it lacks open gate recording, which some competitors offer. This may not be a deal breaker for most users, but it's worth noting for those who require this specific feature. On the other hand, the R6 Mark II, with its 24 megapixel sensor, provides excellent image quality with attractive color rendering and impressive high ISO performance. While its resolution is sufficient for most users, it's not particularly remarkable compared to competitors in its class. However, the lower resolution does contribute to its excellent low light performance. Both cameras excel in low light situations, with the R6 Mark II maintaining good quality up to ISO 6400 and only showing significant quality loss at ISO 12800. The R6 Mark II's 4K output is sharp and detailed, with effective autofocus performance that makes it suitable for a wide range of video applications. The Canon EOS R5 Mark II comes with a premium price tag of $4,000 to $199 for the body only, positioning it firmly in the professional market. In contrast, the R6 Mark II is more affordable at $2,500. While the R5 Mark II offers more advanced features, the R6 Mark II provides excellent value for semi-professionals and enthusiasts, despite being pricier than some direct competitors. Choosing between the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and the R6 Mark II ultimately depends on your specific needs and budget. The R5 Mark II is a more advanced and feature-rich camera, targeting professional photographers and videographers. Its 45MP sensor, 8K video capabilities, and advanced AI-powered features make it a versatile tool for those requiring the highest image quality and resolution. However, the R6 Mark II shouldn't be overlooked. It offers excellent performance in a more affordable package. Its 24MP sensor, while lower in resolution, provides superb low-light performance and is more than adequate for most applications. The R6 Mark II's ergonomics and user-friendly design may also appeal to enthusiasts and semi-professionals who want a capable camera without the complexity of a top-tier professional model. For those primarily focused on video, the R5 Mark II's 8K capabilities give it an edge in terms of future-proofing and flexibility in post-production. However, the 4K output of the R6 Mark II is still impressive and may be sufficient for many videographers, especially those who don't require 8000 resolution. When it comes to autofocus and burst shooting, both cameras perform admirably, making them suitable for action and sports photography. The R5 Mark II's pre-recording feature could be a game-changer for capturing decisive moments, while the R6 Mark II's lower resolution allows for longer burst sequences before the buffer fills up. In terms of image stabilization, both cameras offer impressive specifications, but real-world performance may vary. Users who frequently shoot handheld in challenging conditions may find the R5 Mark II's claimed 8.5 stops of stabilization appealing, but the R6 Mark II's performance is still more than adequate for most situations. Ultimately, if you need the highest resolution, 8K video capabilities, and cutting-edge features, the R5 Mark II is the better choice. It's particularly well-suited for professional photographers and videographers who demand the best possible image quality and the most advanced features. But if you prioritize value, excellent all-round performance, and don't require 8,000 video or for 5 MP stills, the R6 Mark II offers a compelling alternative that doesn't compromise much on quality and functionality. It's an excellent choice for enthusiasts, semi-professionals, and even professionals who don't need the absolute highest resolution or 8000 video. Both cameras represent significant advancements in Canon's mirrorless lineup and offer powerful tools for photographers and videographers. Your choice between them will ultimately come down to your specific needs, workflow, and budget. Thanks for watching our comparison of the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and R6 Mark II. We hope this video has helped you understand the key differences and similarities between these two impressive cameras.